always learn people are going to get you know bigger better they're going to get bigger better when you give them the right tools to utilize they're going to go after it's it's their lives right it's really their lives all we're here to do is guide them in the right path right, right. i'd like for them to stay i'd like for i love for them to stay right but you know i don't own their lives so they're going to do what they need to do right now i'm going to always be there to support and same thing with strength i've had several people leave the stream that you know it was too much for them but i always supported them you know uh, a lot of the people i supported are big you know big now and they're doing their own thing right and it's showing that love and, and stopping by every once in a while and things of that nature and, and saying hello right uh, yeah, it's I, I've seen it. I've seen it even even life itself, right? People you, in life, every day in life that you invest in, you know, they you got to be good for. You know, I I got divorced two years ago, and she's doing bigger, better things, and I'm I'm we're best friends. We're good friends, right? Because I believe in what she's doing, and I will always encourage. I will never, you know, knock down. Yeah, go ahead, Flav. I got to chime in, and I got to agree with Perfect. You're a legend, dude. I just had to oh. say everybody real quick. Guys, come on, give this guy, give, give this guy a round of applause, man. West is, listen, when I started with West, um, he showed me the role. Whoa, look at that level up. Level up. Get that. Woo, Get that, Heather. Get that. So, again, guys, I'm sorry to interrupt. I'm sorry, yeah, Heather. Nice job, but guys, give this guy a round of applause. This guy is full of ideas. He comes out here, he does his thing. So, much I up, appreciate it. I'm, I'm reading the comments. I got to bring it up, you know. Uh, brother, you, you know, you know, it hurts when you you invest so much in somebody. It, it, it does, and it, and the natural reaction is to take it personal. Right, yeah. that's the natural reaction is to take it personal when you fully and you invest and you invest, right, and you give and you I give. Mean, uh, I but at the end of the day, also, it depends also in the way that they leave, because if somebody's leaving for bigger and better things, but they're still around and they're still, you know, come and say, hey, you know, send you a message or come in your stream once in a while. But when they leave in a very negative, where it's not positive at all, that's when it's hurtful. When you have done a lot for them and you have been there for them and you have had conversations with them and, and all of a sudden they're talking negative about you and they're they're insulting you or they're going behind your back and, or and they stop coming into your streams and you're like, but wait, where did all this positivity stuff that we were giving you and all of a sudden this has gone away? So I think it depends on how they leave where that situation comes into play. Because if somebody leaves and it's for them to grow into positive and I mean, I've had people that have just been straight gifters coming into my stream and then they become streamers. So of course they're going to stop coming in a lot, you know, a lot more. They're not going to come in as much because now they're streaming. Now their goals are different. That's great. That's wonderful because that means they're growing. But when they're leaving right. in a negative form, that's when it can be hurtful. Because a lot of times you didn't do anything to that person, but yet they're, they're, something is wrong in them. You know, they're, they're, their life is in hell, so they want to take it out on you. Mm -hmm. and and as for the streaming side of that one, I, I do want to chime in. You know, a lot of a lot of the times, I feel really sorry for those people that Winda are referring to because ninety percent of the time, it's over jealousy, and we're all human on here. We're all doing the same thing. There's no reason to be jealous of anybody else. It's like I, I'm sorry. You know, you might not be doing the same things, but Jealousy. Jealousy is a horrible thing. It's it a is. horrible thing. I agree. Yeah, I, I, I agree on it. And I can tell you, because I was a big gifter before I was ever a streamer, right? Right. And I realized the mistakes I made as a big gifter now that I'm a streamer. <laughs> I mean, I, we I have all made I think that everybody mistake. here has been there. Everybody, everybody has been there. So, I, I was so upset with the way that I started. I actually took seven months off the app and then it came back. Wow, because, that's a you know, I, oh, I was, I thought that I was done. And then when I came back, you know, I, I tell people all the time too, though, 
don't make faves on the app, make friends. Because if you have true friends on the app and you're growing together, then it's a journey for everybody and everybody's excited about it and everybody sticks around. You know, it's, I guess it's all upon your perception on how you how you handle things and do things. Because I think we all have acquaintances and then we have our family on the app, you know? So I was a, I, I, in July it would be officially that I'm three years as a gifter. So, um, because I, I gifted for three months before I even started streaming. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, and it is so hilarious because once I, I actually took six months where I didn't gift. I gifted for like a year and a half and I did six months where I didn't gift because I wanted to see who was really, really there for me, for me and not because I was gifting them. And I can tell you right now that probably out of my top 50, probably 30, 35 of them, I don't talk to anymore. I don't see anymore. They don't come in my stream or anything because the moment I stopped gifting them, they didn't exist in my life. I was nothing. And it, I didn't stop gifting because I didn't have money. I stopped gifting because I wanted to see who was really there for me because, you know, uh, yeah, yeah, of course, you know, I went and gifted them dragons and they would come back and give me 10K and fine and dandy. But then if I needed something or if I had a show going on or if I had my shows, they were never available. They were never around. And I was like, you know what? I really want to see who's going to be there for me and not just because I was gifting them. And in those six months, I learned a lot, a lot more than I should have. <laughs> Oh, wait a that's funny that you say that because I've had that I had that conversation today. I had that conversation today. Just watch what happens, mm -hmm. right? Um, yeah, because you know people, it, it's natural reaction, and I blame it on myself, right? I don't blame anybody. I blame it on myself because I came in and gifted Vic, right. right? You change lives before you ever realize what you what happens, right? Um, and then I started streaming and saw the other side of it. And I'm like, this, this is hard. This is really hard, right? This is a, this is a game change. This is different, mm -hmm. right? This is not as easy as somebody just coming in and, and, and laying down gifts and, and coming in as a gifter. I, I just blasted, right? And now I realize the impact of that. And I don't blame anybody else. I blame myself for doing that, not fully understanding what I walk into. I like, started you as... Oh, go ahead, Eddie. I started as a gifter and I will always be a gifter. I love the reaction on people's faces when you pop in and especially to a new streamer and you pop into their stream and they're like sitting there not knowing what's going on and you drop a castle or something and you get all this stuff and the way their face lights up is just, it's an amazing, amazing feeling. We're so I- We're all gifters, but we are more conscious of who we're getting. Yes, yeah. yeah. You know, go ahead. So. Real quick, guys, I just want to talk about what Perfect is saying, which is kind of just in regards to what you guys are talking about, which is it's definitely different being on the other side of the camera. And I'm guessing Perfect is talking about, I guess, streamer to gifter, where all of us, because of West and myself, uh, one guy, you know, that you've been streaming, Eddie, I've never had the opportunity to meet you. So nice to meet you. But um, everybody here, like you said, West, I know, started as a gifter, myself, Winda, all of us have been on the other side. But uh, I guess Perfect is, and I've known Perfect for a long time, actually. I've known Perfect mm -hmm. probably close to a year now. Um, she's probably the longest person I've known on this app, uh, next to a few other people, two other people maybe. So um, just saying that I think Perfect in general is agreeing with you guys in regards to what you're saying. But um, if you guys want to, hold on, let me go back and read the comment again. Definitely being on the other side of the camera is different. Uh, if you guys want to continue to elaborate mm -hmm. on it, um, and include maybe what Perfect is talking about, we can make them feel a part of the show as well. Okay, so I guess what I'm trying to say is, we were talking about in general. I was, I just, I'm just trying to chime in and because Perfect is is active in the comments and really everybody else. If you guys want to involve yourself, I'm here to bring you guys to light. If you guys have something to say, just. Pick it up in the comments. I'll pick it up and I'll make sure that you guys are heard. Uh, Cuphead, why are you sad? Let's change to that for a second. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, the, you know, like uh, well, what Perfect, I think, was trying to say is like when, you, like when you give someone their smile on their faces, yes. the, the surprise that they give. That it's is like the best. As gifters, that's the best feeling. When you just go in, you go into a stream and you throw them a gift and they're like, the look is like, oh, thank you. 
has an question. amazing look. Actually, I have a really quick question. Do you guys, and I'm sorry to kind of, but because I've known Wes for some time, pretty since he started streaming, but like, uh, I feel like when you know you're going to gift big at this point, I feel like I tell the people that I'm going to give to use their XP, mm -hmm. use their SP. I think that even though you want to surprise them, but we're all in the same, you know, as seasoned gifters or seasoned uh, streamers, we should be advising them to use their SP and XP, especially if they're on a daily basis, they're trying to complete challenges. What's the point of completing challenges for these items if you're not going to use them? So do you guys think that that's a bad idea? I like the surprises. I don't care about the SP and the XP. <laughs> Throw in the surprise gift. Like, now we know, we're the, now I we forget know. about Let me them. Tell you, Poser I forget went about in, them. Poser went in last week, week before, whatever it was. He just came in, he was talking to me, and all of a sudden to take my, um, what Millie I'm at right now, he literally threw me a dragon surprisingly. It was like, I, 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 it was such a shock and almost in tears because, you know, you don't expect it. Yes, it's awesome. It really is an awesome and feeling. So it's like, I, I, for me, I prefer that surprise feeling. Um, you know, it's like, it just, it's so awesome to just see the, you know, the little egg roll out and you're like, oh my God, <laughs> you know? Or but sitting on a kind of cool. on your FP, you're like, oh, something big is coming. Thank you very much. But it's more that surprise look that, you know, that people get. So the only thing I really love doing, I really love doing, right, is I'll do my hour and a half, two hour stream every, every weekday, right? And after that, I don't forget people that are always in my stream. I do not forget them, right? And I'll close out my stream and say, let's go hit this person's stream up. And I've, I've done it more than once. There are a couple of people here where I, I popped a dragon mm -hmm. right off the bat. It's right. my first dragon from West. I gotta say, guys, West gave me my first dragon. Yeah, yeah. those dragons can surprise. And now with that dragon wheel, it's just when they throw that dragon wheel, like it, 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 it you're like, okay, which one's gonna hit? <laughs> okay, and guys, while I'm here, just because I'm a new streamer in general, I gotta give a shout out to Heather because Heather also is a big dragon gifter. So she's she gave me my. You know, so yeah, I don't, I don't compete against Heather anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Just say it. So I used to love to send those dragon wheels. That was my all time favorite, favorite gift yeah. to send to somebody. And as of Friday, I haven't been able to send it anymore. So I'm, I'm a little bummed about that. Yeah. Oh yeah. Cause the top badge. Congrats. But we love yeah. getting them. Eddie, we love getting them. We love yeah. getting them, but we cannot send them. We so cannot send them. Just so you know, yeah, just so everybody knows, we we cannot send them. We cannot so send it's them. not that we don't want to send them; it's that we physically cannot send them. Yeah. yeah. It is made yeah, for the VIPs. Is. So the VIPs have all the good gifts. They have all the good wheels. They have. Um, <coughs> so somebody, asked, um, <laughs> Eddie, have you met with your admin yet? Uh, so I have received an email. But Maybe. no. So I met, um, I, I've, I've had three meetings in the whole time that I've been a top badge, and I just had one last week. And so they asked me, why, you know, what do I enjoy about being a top badge? And I tell them, you know, honestly, right now, I can't tell you. And the reason is, is because top badges originally had all these benefits that the other streamers didn't have. But if you really look at it now, we don't really have any benefits other than we, we trend in the top 10 and the 10 minute rotation. That is the only benefit we have as a top badge. They've taken away all the good gifts. They've given you guys an unlimited skips, which is the one feature that we had. Um, now, uh, VIPs can trend under the 10. And so, like, literally everything that a top badge has, the VIPs have and more. And you guys can, hi you can, you can hide your entrance. We can't do that. Um, so there's like so many benefits that the that that VIPs have. Top badges have three gifts, and we trend in the top ten in a ten minute rotation. We don't trend. There's too many of us for all to trend at the same time. So it's every ten minutes they rotate us. So that's all we get. So so when I was talking to them, it's like people don't realize like oh having a that beautiful top badge really doesn't give us any benefits. Mm -hmm. it, it, Other than we have to stream, we're obligated to stream. <laughs> yeah yeah I've heard and then that. we get it heard all the rules yeah yeah and then you get a bad reputation as well because people people don't like to see that badge and you get a reputation of all top badges being bad people and that's not not the case at all so mm -hmm. 
Exactly. So. So I think the last scenario that I was going to play out was, um, and this could be, this could be anything, right? You're looking to promote somebody based off their success, right? And you're really looking to go out and, and give them, whether promote them in life, promote them in a job, promote them on a stream, right? And um, when you promote them, do they fully understand what that promotion is, what that new role is going to be? Do they understand what they're walking into? Do they understand that it's, you know, yes, it's more money or yes, it's a top edge or yes, but they do, they truly understand the responsibilities behind that promotion, right? And as a leader, how would you, how would you get that person ready? Because it's changed. It's changed from being a daily streamer to being a top badge, right? Right? Or being um, in a promotion as a everyday engineer to developing something to be now a leader, right? Or, you know, whatever it is in life. So I kind of want to throw that scenario out there. Wendek, go ahead. So I'm going to give you my perfect example. Last year in September, I went on vacation. I came back and they switched me my positions. Literally, I went on vacation, went to, went to, I actually went to a playlist, came back and all of a sudden I was switched to a new division, a new position. I knew nothing about that division. <laughs> I literally am still learning how to do estimating in the project management side and the operational side because they're like, oh, well, no, you, you're going to do the accounting for that division, you know, but on top of that, you need to learn it because we want you to run the division. And I'm looking at them going, I know nothing about concrete. <laughs> you're going to put me in something I know nothing about. And so it's like, but then they don't give you the training and the knowledge or anybody that can show me. So I've been over this year in September will be a year. I have to, had to learn all of it by myself, learn how the projects run learn what's going wrong, learn why the labor people are, are, are complaining, why they're not getting, you know, it's like, uh, and then when they ask me questions, I'm sitting there going, you didn't show me that. How am I supposed to answer that? <laughs> so, yeah. So on the opposite side, I've been there because it happened to me and it's like, they throw you into something and then they expect you to learn it and they expect you to learn it like this, like if, you know, but they don't realize if you've never really done that before, you're, you're learning yeah. as you go. You're going to make mistakes. You're going to make issues and because you don't know what you're really doing. Eddie? You know, m mistakes, mistakes ultimately lead to growth. You know, we have to make those mistakes to be able to grow. Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> if I can prevent somebody else from making the same mistakes that I've made on the app itself, then that's something I do. <laughs> if I ever have somebody that comes into my stream and I see that they're sending their first gift, I'll stop them right then and there and tell them, don't buy any, do not buy any credits from the app. If you're going to buy credits, go to the website and buy it because you're going to get a bigger, you're going to get more for your money. And I wish I would have known that because I was a black VIP for over six months buying from the app itself instead of the webpage. Oh my yeah. God. That's so you can imagine how much money I wasted. You can that's imagine crazy. how much money I wasted. Plus they charge you tax on top of it. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. That happened to me too. So anything I can do to help somebody else out to grow and succeed, then that's what I'm going to do because ultimately the better the people that the better I can help people and the better that they're going to do on the app, the better I'm going to do as well. If that makes any sense. Yep. So it's all about building people up and promoting people. I think that people in general, then uh, <coughs> in general, need to i don't know what the word is i'm looking for um i just think we need to lead lead by example and make those mistakes and just live it up you know yeah i, I can give you i've got a close example to what you had winded from a job perspective right um i from my children's hospital i ran their cybersecurity division I built their programs up, I built their governance up, I built all their policies up, all the regulations, audits, assessments, all that stuff up. And it was so good that they didn't need me. I worked myself out of a job. They didn't need me anymore, 
right? They were so efficient, they didn't need me. Right. So they moved me over to another group that was failing. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I walked into it, an end user tech, digital technology, right? And I'm like, I haven't worked this in years. I, I have no clue because it's all VR, it's all AI now, it's all, you know, remote monitoring and all that kind of crazy stuff and kind of built that team up because I can't go in there and, and as a leader and dictate what you're going to do and how you're going to do it because I have no clue. No clue. You've got to teach me, right? So, yeah, so I, I went through something. You took me out of my comfort zone and put me in an uncomfortable zone and want me to be successful. Mm-hmm. Right? Exactly. So, yeah. Flag, you had something you were going to say. Um, actually, I really, I was kind of reading the comments and kind of off to the side, but can you just tell me, just because I don't want to answer incorrectly, just tell me briefly what you, you guys are all commenting on, what, job, because I heard Wendo when she was saying, learning about concrete and am I on the right path here or no? It's, it's about, well, it could be self. We, we turned it on self a little bit too. Um, being promoted into a position that are you really skilled to have that position and, and be that in that role or that leader or whatever it is. Right. So I just went to training last week to open up a franchise because I'm the sales manager in general. I've never, I've been, I started off with finance, uh, did insurance, uh, did building materials. So when I know where you're at? Uh, and right now I specialize in foam insulation. So just to kind of tap onto what Wes is saying, someone entrusted me because this guy is a franchise owner. He has multiple franchises. What he does is he has his money, make money. He hires people that he feels can run their business and he's not even there. So uh, I kind of am in that same position all week. It's been a learning experience for me, but this guy trusted me completely to just hop in. I don't have the tools. I'm running to Home Depot. I'm grabbing tools on my own. Uh, the trucks aren't there, but I feel like it's nothing bigger than what I've already done. I went to training. They showed me the product. They showed me how to run the business. I did it. Uh, so, Winda, I can totally agree where you're coming from. Um, I'm sorry, guys, I was a little late today, so I don't know exactly what the original topic was. I can kind of, usually I'll kind of blow it all in together, but uh, West is my boy, so I'll always be here for him. But again, the biggest thing for me is that, yes, this week someone entrusted me, or two weeks ago, someone entrusted me with uh, just handling their business in general. If it isn't for me, if it's not for me going out there and getting that business, I don't know anything about insulation. I've sold it before. I don't know shit about foam. That's the truth. I'm sorry. Can we curse you? No, okay. <laughs> you're not supposed to, but that's okay. not a feature. So, I don't know anything. I don't know anything about foam insulation. I actually, I do somewhat, but they entrusted me. Um, I put my best foot forward. Um, I studied, I learned, I get up on time. I go to work. I put my best foot forward and honestly today has been the most rewarding day I've had uh, since I started. It's just been awesome. So I can totally agree with you guys are saying, if that answers your question, I'm sorry if I'm off topic. No, go ahead, Eddie. No, I, I am 100% agreement with what you guys were, were talking about. So, you know, I think, I think we covered covered that one. So we got about 10 minutes left. I wanted to just throw out there. This is what would you do? It's basically a leadership round table. There's no right or wrong answers. It's everybody's got a different style. Everybody's got a different, you know, how they approach things. And, uh, you know, sometimes in a leadership role, you've got to take that step back and understand, you know, what's the people, what the people want, right? And really have that uh, that group think type role and and throw those ideas out there, you know. I can remember walking into a meeting and being being an executive, right? And two people were arguing about how do we do things better, right? Neither one of them was right, neither one of them was wrong, right? And they they apologized to me. We're sorry. We're we were like this when you walked in. I said this is good conversation. What you don't want to happen as a leader, you walk in a room and everybody's saying, yeah, yeah, 
Okay, we can, yeah, we can do that instead of having great conversations. Mm -hmm. I think that's the worst one. Everybody just agrees. Everybody just agrees. You feel there's no effort involved. It's like, come on, really? I know everybody just agreeing is kind of just like, anybody can agree. It takes a different person to speak your mind. You know, everybody has their own opinion. We're all human. So when you give your opinion in regards to a subject, it's, you know, some people might be shy or introverted and think that their opinion is going to be taken the wrong way. But uh, I think that's what Wes is trying to do here with this show, because I know we kind of ran a pilot on this show and we didn't even know we were running a pilot. And I think that that's the most important thing that people need to understand that it's not, like you said, there's no right or wrong answer. Just, you know, and, I, and guys, my job here is to focus on the comments. So you guys should be more involved. There's no right or wrong answer. If you have this little, you know, onomatopoeia in your mind and you're saying to yourself, what is going on here? What's this? There's no stupid, there's no wrong question. Just be a part of the show and help us all, you know, get involved. And my job here is to make sure that everybody that's watching is, um, you know, being heard. So if you guys feel like you're not being heard or whatever it is, just, just, Put something in the comments and I'll make sure that you guys are, you know, that you, that you guys are involved and you're, you know, whatever it feels, whatever that you guys are feeling is being heard or uh, whatever opinion you may have, it's not right or wrong. Uh, my job here is to make sure that you guys are, uh, I'm relaying this message to Winda, to Eddie, to Wild, so it can just be in, incorporated in the show, guys. Let's just make it happen, all right? We got about, we got about seven minutes left. I wanted you guys to promote what you guys got going on. Definitely between the both of you. Oh my God, so many feature shows, so many amazing <laughs> things going on. And I've been on Eddie's shows. His, his show's challenging, guys. So you like, you like the I've actually won it once. I've been on his show twice. And I've actually been on your show and won. Man, no, Eddie's show made me feel really dumb. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Wenda, that was never, never my intentions. Never my intentions. <laughs> I, was like, I, I was sitting there going, I don't know this. <laughs> we did, I'll, I'll never forget when we battled uh, Tani and uh, Abibi. Oh, and it yeah. Fuego and I, and we beat them. <laughs> oh, so they're going to be on next week's show, Tani with Marty. Um, I'm doing my couples edition on the 28th. So it's going to be Marty Party with Tani and Fuego with Culona um, as a couples edition. So that one's going to be very interesting. I do the couples editions probably like once a month or once every other month, depending if I can find couples for it. Um, so mine is called, my Wednesday show is called Friends Exposed. That's my featured show. And it's where two sets of friends come on and I ask them questions about each other, see how well they know each other. But what everybody loves is the twist, my five point questions. You know, and those are a little bit more risque. So if you are not willing to speak on your more personal type, you might want to avoid those questions. <laughs> Eddie, have you I, been on mine yet? I have not. I was just thinking, how do we make this happen, Wenda? How do we make this happen? Maybe Eddie, you know. I can tell you, I, I can tell you the last time I was on Wenda's show, every question was the five point question, except the very first one. And that's how we want it. Yeah. Because they did not take the, the five point question. Then take the okay. five point question. So I have certain people that love coming in my stream and only like the five point questions. So they start throwing confetti so that the host shows five point questions. This last one, I ended up having three rounds of regular and everything was five point questions. So it's the only show on the app that because I got featured before um, all the they got really tight on how features can be can be awarded. I get away with mine. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I, I wouldn't get my, I don't think mine would get featured now if I was to apply for it. Um, but you know, <laughs> I'll have my popcorn. Uh, I'll give you an example of one of the questions. Um, I actually have them here because my game was, my show was yesterday. Um, if, would you accept a million dollars to have sex with someone, uh, no strings attached? Yes. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Even like hesitate. <laughs> now, gentlemen, now how I say this is, gentlemen, usually I get no from gentlemen on that question. And you know why? I didn't specify if it'd be a male or a female. Get out of here. I don't care. Okay. <laughs> okay. And he's like, give me the belly. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Oh, God. See, 
See, that's what you got to be careful of, Winda. You got to be careful of it. You got to listen to the phone questions. Oh, dead. Usually the females are like quick. They're like, yeah, we'll take the Millie because a lot of the men female. are like, uh, wait, you didn't specify. <laughs> Well, I guess as a as a straight male, I would only think about a female. So, I mean, if I was bisexual, then maybe it might be. But I would take that question differently either way. I, I mean, right. Yes, but the question male, is a perfect so. stranger. I never said the perfect stranger was male or female. Okay, so then <laughs> ask the question. Hold on, ask the question again, please. All right. <laughs> would you accept a million dollars from someone to uh, no strings attached? As long as it's a female. <laughs> Eddie's like, I'll take the Millie. I don't care. Give me, Give me the Millie. Millie. I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> Whatever. Eddie, get it, Eddie. Get it. Yeah. Get yeah. It. I just hope I never see him again. Yes, Eddie. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so I, think, are... I, I think that works both ways. Mm -hmm. So the questions are, the my five-point questions, most of them are sexual. 99.9% .9 are sexual questions. Okay, let's make this happen one day. Um, I have the 20, I'll send you a message, Eddie. I have the 26th of July. I'm booked all the way till then. Unless okay. I get a cancellation before then. Okay. Yeah. Let's look at it. Let's look at it. Yeah. So <laughs> anything yeah. else exciting going on, Wendy? You host auctions and you do all kinds of other fun things. So. I do not like to host auctions. I've only hosted one auction on this app, and that was in July of 2021. And mm -hmm. I haven't been able to figure out a new thing to top that one. Um, and so y'all can figure out how my my streams go sometimes my auction was a handcuffs auction how freaky could you get in three minutes without getting banned <laughs> one and only auction i hosted it was beautiful it was perfect it was the best auction i think i had seen on this app but i have not been able to come up with a theme to top it <laughs> that's awesome. wow yeah the only one person got banned, it was Panda. And that's because Panda decided to change his flyer because they made the flyer specifically. So they, and he decided to change his flyer and put the handcuffs in the Panda mouth and he got banned. <laughs> oh, wow. And I'm like, I'm like, why did you change it? <laughs> but we had, we, you know, so that's the only auction that I had. And, and I haven't been able to find a good theme to match that one. You know, it's kind of hard to beat that one. <laughs> yeah. Hold on, I'm sorry, guys. One but I normally host battle royales. How I met Wes is because I invited him to my one uh, one of my battle royales. And that's how I originally met Wes. I actually won my first one. Yeah. First congratulations! I, did, I won my first round. Yeah. Congratulations. Well, you won the first and the second, right? No, I lost to Trevor. I lost oh, to Trevor lost in Trevor? second. Round. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I thought you won the second round. Yeah. So. I've and I have, I'm probably gonna be hosting one in August. I'll probably be hosting one in August. I took a little bit of a break for medical stuff. Let me know when you host one, Wenda. Yeah, I'll let you know. They're, mine are fun. Um, mine are fun. I do them a little differently. I try to match people more fair and not, you know, not randomly match. So I try to match people based on, you know, um, and I, like, I met Wes by inviting him, but actually he didn't know that I actually went into his stream on my lurker first. Um, and it's a lurker with no picture, or like a 21, you know, level, no picture. Because I want, I do that on purpose. Somebody kicks me out their stream, I'm not going to invite them. Because that means they're not going to get very far on this app if you're kicking people out just because they don't have a picture. Right. I started on this app without no picture. I was already a black VIP in three days without a picture. Don't underestimate the people that don't have a picture because sometimes we're just shy and we got to get, you know, we got to kind of get known, you know, kind of feel comfortable before we do it. So, so like when did you said, you know, I, I really want to touch on this because when you go through all the meetings with admin on the app to get your shows featured, one of the things that they really talk about is longevity and trending. And what keeps you trending is how long somebody stays in your stream. Just because they're not active doesn't mean that they're not logged into your stream and watching. So if you're kicking everybody without a picture and they're just sitting there watching, enjoying the conversation, not interacting, you're actually hurting yourself with your trending and with your streaming. And it screws up your algorithms completely. Mm -hmm. It really, really does. Yeah. Guys, Duke is guilty. 
<laughs> I do. Welcome to no Fix the Duke. Welcome to Fix the Duke. So most of the, um, I can tell you right now, most of the bigger gifters on this app, they all have a lurker. Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't. All of us. We all do. And all the admins. We all do. And the admins. And the admins. And, the admins. Uh -huh. and some of us, and some of us top badges even have a lurker that's a VIP to be able to send those VIP gifts. Oh, yeah. I, 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 I have one that's a level 60. <laughs> oh, dead. I, my lurker account, my, I think my lurker account's like level 39. Yes, I know that account. <laughs> I have one that's level 60. I was like, yeah, I need to stop gifting off of this one. <laughs> I don't like them to get that high. I have eight of them for a reason. I don't like them to get that high. It's just for oh. some reason on that one, I've got it. But the reason I don't is because then people expect you to gift when they see your color, your... So I try to keep them between the 20 and the 30s. And once it reaches out, I normally can't close it and start a new one. But nobody knows my lurkers, not one person. I, <clears throat> I tell you what, you guys, if you guys need your faves up, make sure to hit window with that fave. She'll bring all eight <laughs> lurkers in and hit you up with those faves. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> I, need three, I need three more faves and now you're 29. <laughs> All right, nice. I will fave you when you when you're not watching, so you don't know my lurker. All right, all right. <laughs> and, that, and that wasn't me. My hands are right here, so Duke is not me. <laughs> Eddie, you want to go through what you what you're doing, brother? Uh, yeah. So every every single Tuesday, I have my featured show. Are you smarter than a top badge? It's at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, again, it's like a spinoff of um, Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader. We've made we've made some changes since you've been on at Windows, so you'll have to check it out again. Uh, it's a little bit smoother, so we're getting ready to go on our eleventh eleventh featured episode. I'm excited about that. Um, another big event I have going on. Uh, I'm participating in Meja's auction tomorrow. It's my first auction in over two years on the app, so I was like, okay, Mej, okay, Mej, you've been bugging me forever, so mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. I I figure it's time. It's time. It's hard to what think what of time is your auction, Eddie? Uh, it's at 8.20. And then tomorrow night, Eastern Standard Time. And then afterwards, we're having uh, a big top badge celebration. We're going to celebrate my 30 million, my top badge, and my 10K faves that we were able to get. Nice. So I'm excited Look at you making that. all those goals. <laughs> trying, nice. trying, until we find new ones. Now, now it's like finding those new goals, you know? So what you want to do is you want to get your 50 so you get this. Hold on, I'll show you. There she goes. She's lo she's logging into all her accounts now. No. <laughs> this is the 50. Nice. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. There's 50 million. Congratulations for 50 million diamonds on Plenty of Fish. That's amazing. And does it weigh like five pounds? That, this one's not that heavy because they, they made it smaller. They used to be a lot bigger. Uh -huh. I've seen the big ones. That's why I was yeah. asking. Is that like a Yeah, now they're one? not giving the big ones. Now they're giving these. Yeah. I mean, they put it in a nice little box, too. Really See, that's nice. cool, though. Those are memories. Those are memories. Mm -hmm. So I think my next big goal is my level, level 100. I'm at 70 now, so I think, or 69 now, getting ready to go to 70. So I want that level 100 gift. I don't. No. I do. I don't want to be talking that, that, about that for forever. Because then Wait. that means I know how much darn money I spent on this app. <laughs> although when the, the although when the, it helps if you're using your XP. I save them up. Me too. So I save them Me up. too. And then and so what I do is so for anybody who's here that's a newer streamer. Eddie will tell you, you save them up. And when you're ready to use them, make sure you use your 100% and then cash them out so that you're doubling it. If you can use two of your 100%, you're going to quadruple it. Wait, hold on one second real quick. You can double them up? Yeah, you can double them up. Your percentages? I didn't know you could do percentages. I didn't I know that. The first time. I haven't cashed them out in a long time because I'm, I've been saving them up. Um, but when I did it the first time, it, it doubled up the percentages. Wow, that's what, I've changed it. that's what I've heard too. Unless you changed it, I will I, try. Like it. I will try. I this. haven't changed it because I'm gonna be really mad because I haven't done it because I've been trying to kind of do it. So if you look, this is like, let's see if I can do it. See how mine? 
I haven't cashed them. And the, one of them has like 11, 8, 7, 6, 6, 2. <laughs> Another one has 11. Like I literally um, double uh, keep them until I have a whole bunch. I did the SPs the other day because I did. I got 250K of the SPs from mm -hmm. doubling them up. Yeah, but and I they also say they also say save the like the 10k that you can automatically click on and hit that 10k and it, it goes in. Save those up because when you hit the 100 percent and 25 yeah. percent, yeah, all that you get that 10k times that too. Yeah, so that's what I did. I did it on the SP and it doubled them up. Yeah, but that now was you got me wanting about, to try it. That was probably about four months ago that I did it. Who who told me that? Uh, Icy so told you, me that. I wonder if you could take four twenty fives and get a hundred percent. That's a good question. I did two of the hundreds. I didn't try any of the other ones. I I don't know that answer. I don't oh, know that I've answer. Only done, I've only done the hundreds. I've only I mean I've used a few of them, but I've never tried to double them up. You know. Yeah, I doubled yeah. them up, yeah. um, and it took it, but. And maybe maybe they change it because you know they they do updates like what every every month every other month and and you know it could be like the dragon wheel too because until last week top badges were able to send the dragon wheel if you just held it down and kept holding it down you know and now no, know yeah and it and was based on what it tells me it's a VIP gift so uh huh I didn't yeah. think about holding it down. Yeah, I guess it depends what phone you're on too. If it's an Android versus iPhone. Okay, I think yeah, Android, I have an iPhone. I think but Android yeah. would work better with what Eddie's talking about. Androids usually work better when you're just kind of holding them down. Or am I wrong? Not. Well, Android, I you heard... can do the the automatic clicker for the hearts. You can't do it on iPhone. Correct. You that's can't. why I'm thinking. That's why I'm thinking with the with the wheel that it would be the same on the uh, on the Android because because of the click I... for the hearts. If so all I have to do is hold my finger down on the wheel after I said, say, don't show me again, and it'll send 50K in wheels in two seconds, three seconds. Oh, yeah. Now they have the automatic clickers for the dips. Uh -huh. that, yeah. I love that new feature because for the fives battles, that comes perfect. Mm -hmm. You just hold it down and it just throws all the fives. Before it was like, listen, I don't have lesbian <laughs> fingers. I'm not a lesbian. <laughs> 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 Speaking of that, I'm doing Miss Tani's 5K battle. You're doing Tani's 5K battle? Nice. Yeah, her VIP. Yeah, I'm doing that. I, I think it's the 14th. I love 5K battles. The yeah. Five, the, five battles, the 5K battles. I've never done Man. a battle. Never. Well, don't worry. I'll get you in one. Yeah, never. I think it would be fun. You know, I think it'd be a lot of fun. Yeah. So. And let me tell you, Poser, like if you ask Poser, be, po be the Poser, he'll tell you. After my fives battle, he he's, he blew up. He'll tell he he he's always telling me, I'm so glad you had me do it. Because he yeah. wasn't going to do it. And I'm like, just do it. You'll see. Um, I've had, what, four, five top badges come out after my battles? See, I, I don't know about you, but I always get nervous before that stuff. I, I mean, you know that you have the support. You know that the people are there. You just don't know who is really going to show up. And it's always that fear of like, okay, what's going to happen? What's going to happen? But then like, like tomorrow, I am filling in to help Mej out. And I'm like, let's just do it. Let's just have fun. Um, let's just Listen, I did not, I did what the app battle, what, not last year, the one before then, I think it was three app battles ago. That was scary. The one, the, the app hosts. I got thrown oh, into wow. it. And I was just like, I don't want to, I didn't want to do it. Rose like, just do it. You know, the exposure, even if you don't win and I didn't win, but I, I don't regret doing it. I did get a lot of exposure from it, but you get a lot of drama from it too. Um, but yeah, that's probably one of the one battles I've ever did. That was really scary. Cause I was like, um, the whole app is going to be watching me. My views went to like 3,000 in that three minutes, pretty much almost. Wenda, like, the whole yeah. app is watching you every week when you have your featured show. Yeah, but that's different. <laughs> it's different getting 1,000 to, to 1,500 views in a show to like in, in an hour to like that first battle when it's only three minutes long and your views are already at 3,000. You know people are watching you. And you're sitting there going, um, 
why you're staring at me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh. So the app battles are very scary. The regular battles, I mean, I've done those. Those are fine. The regular, the regular battle royales, but the app ones, if you ever get in one of those, yeah, those are those are a bit scary. Okay. Almost did last year when they had those. Did I had you? people that were like, let's do this, let's do this. I'm like, no, let's not. Like, no, let's not. <laughs> Come on, Eddie, let's do this. No, let's not. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, they're, they're fun, that, but mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Even contests, they the contests stress me out too. When you start getting up there, like number fourteen, fifteen, and you're like down to the last thirty seconds, it's like, what's gonna happen? Oh, uh, when I started on the app, that was like, I think I did contests almost every week for the first year. I was in the contest every week almost for the first year. I was exhausted after those contests. Like, <laughs> You're just sitting on a stream, but it's the fact that it's the constant flow and the grinding. And then, you know, it's like going into somebody else's stream, shooting for them, and they're coming to shoot for you and making sure that, you know, everybody's on, is that's going to be contest grinding stays in. The stress that I haven't done one since then. And that was like a year and a half ago. Yeah. I, haven't, yeah. I, I, I was like, no, can't do this anymore. They're fun and they're exciting, but they're exhausting. Yeah. I mean, that's, if I get tossed in them, fun. I get tossed in them now, but I definitely don't grind for them like mm -hmm. I, I used to. Yeah. Just too tired. There, yeah. I think the highest I ever made was four. I made it to the fourth. Congratulations that on that. That's huge. Yeah. It was between me and Allie at the time. And Allie and me kept going back and forth. And then people were going into her stream and, and then going into my stream and, and trying to talk shit and trying to rile everything up. And we're like, yo, me and Allie are friends. Don't do that. You know? And um, it was just like, you know, it's more the people in the comments that make it sometimes miserable. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> because, you, you know, so you're not really, you, between the streamers, it's not so bad. You know, if you, especially if you know each other. And um, her number one person at the time, four, ended up throwing like three dragons at the end to snipe the third place. Wow. That's insane. Mm -hmm. That's insane. Yeah. What was it won? The uh, People's Choice Award? I remember. Uh, when, um, we did that for Nana. Yeah, we were supporting Nana on sure. it, but um, uh, who was it? Uh, oh. The girl from Iran. Saha? Uh, Ninja. Her top guy came in and oh went in. Oh my God. Uh, T Bone. His name is T Bone. He dropped like, like a million in like three million minutes. diamonds in like 20 seconds. Yeah, it was crazy. It was crazy. We and couldn't... still lost. And they still, still didn't win top. He did. He got second. Yeah, his role model was won. Your role model won that one. Yep. Actually, my first contest, I won 320K on my first contest. Nice, congrats. Mm -hmm. I did. I won 320k in my first contest, actually. Yeah. Those those can get kind of awesome. crazy. Yeah, I want them cool. to change the people's choice award though. I don't want it to be gifts. I don't think that's fair. You know, because there's people that want to vote for you but really can't gift like that. Yeah, that's true. I think yeah. they should do it by voting and only one vote per streamer. Like a Google form, like they do for everything else they do. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think you could pop it up to where you're. Uh, you can only do it with one login and vote. Yeah, people can they create have... lurkers and vote, but you know, if you want to create that many lurkers and vote, then go ahead. <laughs> but I think it should be based on one user at a time, one streamer, and the, and it'd be an actual vote that you can actually vote for a people's choice. Because mm -hmm. not everybody can gift. Yeah, that's true. That's, that's very true. Truth. Mm -hmm. So, but we'll see if they change it. I gave the suggestion. I, I gave the suggestion. So hopefully they change it. Hopefully. Hopefully it would be nice. <clears throat> Definitely be nice. Mm -hmm. So, or do two. You can do two contests. Uh, the best, you know, the most gifted throughout the year or something like that. Mm -hmm. But do the people's choice as an actual people's choice. Right. Mm -hmm. I agree with you. I agree with yeah. you. Yeah. So. We'll see. I think that the app is working. They're they're getting everybody's opinions a little more now than the before. So I think that's gonna help change it, you know, 
change to where it's more to the to the streamer. Hopefully. <laughs> okay. So right on. Very nice. Well, what? I appreciate it. I, I tell you, thank you, Wild, for having me tonight. This has been awesome. I think that your show is going to be absolutely amazing, and I think it's something that people are going to really enjoy. So mm -hmm. <clears throat> congratulations on uh, putting it together the way that you did. You know, yeah. you've done good. Yeah, it's nice. It's nice to have conversation and have yeah. adult conversation where people aren't, you know, being right. negative and actually can. Yeah. yeah. So I... Was this one recorded for you to send in? Yes, I think Katharina recorded it. Wes, how are you, brother? Yeah. I think Katharina, Emoji Day was supposed to, and he, he, was, he was late. The only, the only thing you missed, Wild, and I think Wendell will tell you the same, and they're going to encourage you to, like, in between questions, probably, to promote your show a little bit more and welcome your yeah. new viewers. So other than, yeah, other than that, you hit everything else nail on. I appreciate it. And that's one thing I had written on the top of my page and it was covered by the wire. And so I was, I was kind of, yeah. So what I, I had it all scripted forget, out today. That's the one thing I always forget. I set thank myself a timer for every 15 minutes. Yeah. So thank you, Wes. How are you, brother? If you, have a, if you have a second device, set your alarm for every 15 minutes and that when it goes off, you know, it's time for you to promote. Well, let me, yeah, let me, first. yeah, yeah, <clears throat> but and yeah, man, your show, <clears throat> yeah, I have, I figure, I figured mine, I have to do it every, every second question for each person that gives me about 12 minutes, I think it is. Yeah, but, yeah, so, and that's perfect. That's awesome. Yeah, they say about, you know, every 12 to 15 minutes to promote, mm -hmm. so that's it, that's actually about right. Mm -hmm. But wild, awesome right. show, bro. Awesome show. I can't wait I to see it. I, I appreciate it. I thank you for both of you guys being here. It meant a lot okay. to me. So I, I, and, I appreciate And I'm going to tell you the same thing you told me, my friend. If you ever run into a bind once you get featured and you need somebody, reach out to me directly. Like, don't have admin. If you have admin for your stream, reach out to me because I'll probably say no. But if you reach out to me directly, I'll be there for you, bro. I appreciate Eddie. Yeah. Always, you know. Yeah. I always want to support and, and, and guys in the stream, please, please use your IG to promote Thank these you, shows and, and post it out there and really get people coming because it, 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 pay, it plays back, right? You invest in others and it, they'll invest. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. <clears throat> Definitely, so guys, definitely, thank definitely. you guys for all being so kind. Thank you guys for the favorites. Thank you again, Winda. I have truly enjoyed this time with you. I don't think you and I have spent this much time together. Yeah, we have. And <laughs> I'm really excited to spend a little bit more time in your stream and get to know you more. So I'm anytime, excited. Anytime. And I will send you a message about my show for the 26th of July. Amazing. So I'm excited. I'm you excited. need to have a partner. You, you have a whole month to find a partner. Okay. Uh, does it matter what what status they are? It could be anybody. Anybody you want. Okay. 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 I'll bring one of the ladies. I'll either bring like Jenny or Latin or Lexi with me. I'll bring one of them with me. Oh yeah. The ladies will love it. The questions for the ladies are a little bit more spicier sometimes. <laughs> <clears throat> then maybe, then maybe I need to bring, oh wait, we're featured, huh? It is featured. Okay. I'll probably bring Latin then cause she's spicy, <laughs> but, but professional. Spicy oh, yeah, but no. professional. The, the, I, the way that it's funny because the questions that I ask are very, very spicy, but the way that we ask them, it still stays within the featured rules mm -hmm. and how it's conducted. So I yeah. love it. I'm, I had I had a um Freeman and uh Caesar on my show. You know the <laughs> POF admin? Oh my gosh, Caesar's face, his cheeks turned red. Freeman was like answering everything like it was nothing, but Caesar, he was so embarrassed and he was like, <laughs> it was so hilarious. Janet wouldn't do it. Janet's like, I'm not doing your show. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Man. I can't That's believe awesome. on the, the one I did with you, we lost because my partner didn't know what the Mile High Club was. <laughs> That's an easy one. Uh -huh. That's one getting of my it on in an airplane. Are... One of the questions was, are you a member of the Mile High Club? And they didn't know what that meant. 
He didn't know what he meant. Mm -hmm. And we lost. We lost on that question. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. So, you That's know, funny. I'll ask uh, for the men, I usually ask um, how many one night stands have you had? What does another Do we have to be have? honest, Wenda? Do we have to be honest? <laughs> Well, you, you, she, she asked that question with me in Fuego, and it was like zero to 10, 11 to 20, or 20 to 30. And I said, I said the middle one. And he, he looked at me and said, What do you think? I'm a hoe? <laughs> and that was his answer. It was correct. Oh, that's funny. That's funny. You know, Fuego, before getting in the relationship he was in, he's in, he was a little hoe. <laughs> Oh, I believe it. I, yeah, I know him. I know him enough. That's funny. That's yeah, funny. yeah. So we do ask questions <clears throat> that get kind of personal. Um, let me see one. Uh, another one. I'm trying to think of them at the top of my head. Um, oh, what age did you lose your virginity? Do I remember you asked that? Uh, the, the, yeah. You Is asked that. that? Face? <laughs> you asked that. Us that one too. Yeah. Are you, uh, do you prefer to be a giver or a receiver for oral sex? Okay. Mm -hmm. So yeah, the, the questions can get very personal. Okay, yeah. let's do this. I'm excited. Yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> so. Yeah, it'll be fun. All right, All right gentlemen. Guys. It's been a pleasure. Uh, Much love to you. Um, I appreciate, I appreciate you guys. Thank you. Well, thank, thank you. you thank, you. thank you for having me. Definitely. Thank you. Thank you.